Hi and welcome back to the Peregrine Day. I'm Rachel Parsons. We're still in Bruges. I'm Rachel Parsons. I travel the planet largely alone in order to get a truer perspective of this amazing globe. No distractions, no itineraries. Up close and personal. <laughs> And I'm ready to show you that traveling solo doesn't have to be so scary. Between the historic city center and the suburbs, Bruges is a city of about 120,000 people on the northwest side of Belgium. While it's known for its storybook medieval architecture and doilies, I spend my last morning appreciating another of Belgium's national icons. I can't believe I'm eating this for breakfast. I wouldn't even eat this for dessert most of the time. It's really good. The waffle itself is much more pastry-like than ours in America. It's a lot lighter and fluffier. Not nearly as dense. A little crispy on the outside. It's excellent. It's also covered in ice cream, people. But we'll need the fat to keep up our strength in order to perform a bit of breaking and entering at our next stop. All four of the windmills that stretch along the outer ring of the canal here were built someplace else and moved here in the early 1900s. And they're beautiful. I don't think they're actually meant for you to come in unless you're with a tour guide. All of the doors on them are locked, but I've managed to slip into one of them where the door seemed like it was locked, except the lock's been broken. So I'm going to scurry out of here, but it's really pretty impressive. They're beautiful, solid wood, made in the 1800s. They're worth a look if you can get up here. The windmills are on the northeast side of the old city center, and most people inevitably just stumble on them while out exploring. And for those of you who have a guilty conscience about trespassing, not to worry. We can go to confession. The Basilica of the Precious Blood is in the Burg Square, right off the main market square. And here, if you're so inclined, you can swing by and view the file that contains what appears to be a bit of fabric soaked in blood that's said to be the blood of Jesus Christ. According to legend, Joseph of Arimathea preserved the blood after washing Christ's dead body. While you're in the Burg Square, stick your head in the city hall next door and take in a few of the works of art that are in the Gothic and historic halls for free. I don't do very many museums, mostly because when I mention the word museum, half the audience glaze over and the other half get very excited. So today I'm going to split the difference and do something hopefully entertaining for both, because the only museum I'm going into in Bruges is the Potato Museum. I don't say it's more educational than I thought it would be. It's kind of cool. It traces history and popular culture and notion and how to cook fries. Did you know potatoes were domesticated in South America? I didn't know that. Weirdly enough, it smells like french fries in here. Did you also know that for centuries people considered the potato an aphrodisiac? No wonder the Irish have so many kids. Okay, I know that was a cheap shot, but I was expecting to get more laughs out of the museum. Instead, I found a well put together educational exhibit. And I want one of these. Potato mobile. The Print Museum. Informative and delicious. 